new stuff. Let's do it. So earlier this week, I did a live stream and I was showing y'all all of my like headphone stashes and stuff like that. And we came across these bad boys. I've had them in my closet for some time, like obviously because they're old AF. And um, yeah, man, I figured it'd be a cool little video just to go to a blast in the past and see what these Beats Solo HDs are all about. So here's a story behind these. These are not actually mine. Well, I guess they're mine since they're in my possession now, but I think it was maybe somewhere back in 2012, 13 or so. My son at the time, he wanted some headphones real bad. And yes, at the time he was like 12 or 13 and he bought into all the, the ads and the media and the hype behind Beats. He wanted some Beats so bad. Me as a sensible father thought, son, that's ridiculous. I'm not buying you $200 headphones that probably don't even sound that great. And yeah, so, so I didn't want to buy him for him, right? So his mom, which I've been divorced from since about 2005, decided for Christmas she wanted to get him some Beats. They were on sale at Walmart or something like that. So she got him some Beats Solo HD. He was super excited that he had some Beats Solos. And me as dad, knowing better, I was like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> So yeah, I was rocking my Sony XB900 BTs or whatever they were called back in the days. You know, the, the Sony bass cannons, the OG ones. I was rocking those and he had his beats and um, there's a whole story behind that as well, but I'm not going into that. Either way, we got here the Beats Solo HD Beats by Dre. This is old school, man. So let's take a look around the box. Now, one thing I can applaud Beats for even back in the day was their packaging. Their packaging was second to none. They made you feel like you were getting something that was truly expensive and special. And yes, it was also expensive. I think I looked back at the retail price of these back in the day. It was 200 bucks for a pair of on-ear wired headphones. It was just unbelievable. But right here, it, sh it says that, you know, they're compatible with iPads and iPhones. It's got all the touch features right there, or the, the features, rather, uh, for the uh, the cord. Uh, and then we have, oh, wow, talk about another blast from the past. Look at this. Look, get in here, man. You got to see this with your own two eyes. HTC, BlackBerry, and Android. HTC and BlackBerry are two companies that really don't even exist anymore. Man, y'all remember those HTC phones? Dude, my first real good Android phone was the HTC Evo 4G amazing phone man i do I, I loved htc phones man i don't know what happened with that company but they really screwed up let me get my camera out here okay there we go so we got some stuff um let me see here with beats people are going to hear what the artists hear and listen to what they want to be heard the way i do that's what dr dre is saying so <laughs> this is the way Dr. Dre wanted us to hear the music. This is good. It's a, it's a nice signature product, man. It was good branding designed by Beats, Noel Lee, and uh, Ammunition. Let me see what else here. That's it. So let's just get into the box without further ado. Let's take this off of there. And I see I got all this dust right here, man. You can't see that on the camera, but it's dusty. Got a nice little tab that you just pull. Can you back out a little bit? Let me see. Let me get you backed out a little bit. All right, let's put that off to the side. Then we'll go over to the accessory side. And this is just like, God, it's like a book. So you open that up with some Velcro. I don't know what was in this side right here. What was in this compartment? Probably just the cable. But then we have the instruction booklets. I'm not sure why there's so much here. Being that they're wired headphones and on here, there's, there's just not. Oh, and warranty information. We got the user guide. Let's look in here. Let's see what the user guide has to offer us besides what we saw in the back of the box because they're not Bluetooth or anything. All right, so we got some stuff about sound levels here. Uh, all right, okay, I got that. Tells you how to operate the remote, uh, connect, listen, and enjoy. I mean, they're on-ear headphones. I mean, how much science is there when it comes to operating them? You get that that traditional Beats uh, sticker right there to put on your car, your, your lunch box, or whatever you're gonna put it on, <laughs> or on the back of your computer so you can you know show off that you got some Beats. Then you got this Beats by Dre thing right here. Now these were the real deal. These Beats, um, I forget what the Beat Studios, those are the real deal right there. I like those. Let me see. Uh, oh, this is just a catalog basically with some stuff that Dr. Dre wanted us to buy <laughs> because he needed that, that money from our pockets, man. 
And they make this stuff look real good, man. We got LeBron right there. That's when he actually had a, a hairline. Look at that. LeBron got a hairline and everything. Got them power beats. So this is the full catalog of the beats from back in 2010 to 12, I guess, is what we're talking Oh, dude, you remember these speakers right here? These things used to take like, uh, like 40 <laughs> double D batteries. <laughs> <laughs> and they were drained so freaking fast these beats these beat speakers man oh my god that was those beats right there this is kind of cool man just reminiscing on all the beats products i saw in best buy that i knew that i would never pull my wallet out for i never saw these what are these heartbeats okay so it's the lady gaga stuff right there is that gaga i think that was gaga that's lebron doing his thing these were pretty fly i mean to be honest with you man a lot of the beats products just look really good they have a really nice aesthetic to them nice and clean and simple and i i, I always liked it i just i don't know i never really liked the beats logo or the the b on there it was just the the overall design of the stuff but enough of my rambling let's get into the case so you, that's another thing i also oh let's get into this box man there's nothing else in this box <laughs> it's just a bunch of box, man. That unboxing experience with Beats, second to none. So that's one thing I always admired about Beats is that they had a fantastic case. Just simply fantastic, man. This case, what does this do? Oh, snap, I didn't even notice. So you can actually unbuckle this. It has a buckle in there. It's a little pocket, but it's also a little buckle in there that lets you kind of just loop this around so you don't even need a carabiner or nothing. It's just there for you. I ain't gonna take the time to put it back in, but that's nice. Then you got your zipper right there with that red and black design. Got your infamous Beats logo right there. Open that bad boy up. Oh, there's the star of the show, baby. The star of the show. Then you got that pouch for the cable. And it's, it's nice in here. These headphones got a nice home. This is fully padded on both sides. And I'm talking about some thick padding. So these, you know, will just last in there. They're not gonna get squished up and beat up. This is a really nice soft case. All right, start the show. Here we go. Open them up. They don't swivel or nothing like that. I'm not sure if headphones were really doing that whole swivel thing, uh, the 180 degree swivel thing back in the day. These just fold up. And that was good enough for these Beats solos because they're already pretty small. You got this minimal design right here. The headband is kind of cushy, kind of cushy. Let me see. Hmm, it's, it's pretty rigid on my head. But the overall design of these is actually very sleek and pretty, man. It's very sleek and pretty. I like the colorway too. So you got your Beats logo right there on these wired headphones. The Beats logo doesn't do anything. But then when you come around to this right ear cup, is this the right or the left? This is the left ear cup. Got the left ear cup. That's where your 3.5 millimeter cable goes because these are wired headphones. So let's keep them like that. And then on the top, you got your Beats by Dre. He wants you to know that these are Beats by Dre. Hey man, I ain't hating on it at all. Let's see about this cable right here. That was another thing I always liked about Beats, the red and black cable. I'm a sucker for red and black, man. If you put red and black or orange and gray together or even yellow and gray or like silver and tan, like there's, like three or four different color schemes i'm a sucker for it and this is one of them on the side that you plug into your audio device you got your 90 degree elbow right there and then you got your straight plug on this side and then this is your control module right here uh, i have an android phone so we won't be doing the volume and stuff like that it doesn't control that uh well it might we'll, we'll just have to see but you got an inline mic right there and then you got your play and pause button right there so let's get these things plugged up to my galaxy note 8 yes we're taking a blast into the past i thought about pulling out my galaxy note 7 because i still have one i'm one of the the like the samsung bad boys who kept his, his galaxy note 7 but i ain't want to put it on camera because i ain't want all the hate coming but yeah man i still i still got that galaxy note 7. all right so let's get that plugged into that 3.5 millimeter jack it has been accepted moment of truth right here man <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know about you, but I'm nervous. Let's get to see how they feel. All right. So I'm not a huge fan of on-ear headphones. And I'll be honest with you, I got the feel, the Phil Divas back there, and these feel nothing like the Phil. The Phil Diva actually kind of just melt onto your ears and it's very, very comfortable. And they have the same structural design pretty much. It's just that these ear ear cups or ear pads are very rigid and you know you got headphones on your head and the top right here not comfortable on a ball head guy at all like it is not comfortable nope not these headphones are not comfortable at all the ears the ear pads are rigid and the the padding up here is rigid 
and I'm just not having a good experience right now, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? These are not for bald head people is what I'm saying. If you got hair or wearing a hat, you're probably going to be good to go. So let me just play a song real quick. Let me, let me see about this base camp shutter. Well, there's a lot of good bass there. Let me, let me try something else. I need to try something with some, uh, some mids and highs. Let's see here. All right, man. All right. Here's my assessment of the Beats Solo HD. <laughs> Two hundred dollars for these things back in the day, man. And there's no way in hell I'd spend my money on them. They look cool. They look cool, especially you know when you wear them around your neck. And if you're into that kind of thing, you know, with the red cord and the white and the fashion, maybe it is a two hundred dollar experience for you. But as far as music quality, no, nah, man, not even close to a two hundred dollar experience. We're talking heavy, heavy bloated bass. Like that's truly what I'm getting here. Heavy, heavy bloated bass with the sacrifice of kind of, I don't want to use the word muddy mids and highs, but it's, it's the mids are just, it's just kind of muffled. Screw it, man. It's kind of muddy. <laughs> it's kind of muddy. The highs, the highs aren't that bad. They're, they're not like crystal clear, or really super bright, uh, but they, they are present. It's the mids. I got a problem with, with these, um, the, the bass is, is, it's, it thumps very punchy uh hair headphones very punchy as far as the the bass resonance that that booming bass you're not really going to get it these are very punchy and that could be just due to the you know the drivers in here these are not very large drivers i wouldn't believe but the bass is good bass is real good and that's what beats was known for the mids are trash and the treble is just okay uh, and that's my assessment of the Beats Solo HD, man. Hey, <laughs> $200 back in the day, man. God, dog. People was buying these things. If you got a pair right now, man, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> they look cool, though. They look cool. Either way, I just wanted to take a little blast from the past and, and try out these Beats again just to see what the deal was, man. And just go back a little bit. <laughs> Either way, if you had a good time checking these out with me, make sure you throw some emoji hands up in the comments section and we'll see you at the new one with some actual new stuff. <laughs> oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you, and I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?